All right, man, welcome back. Different location, same channel. What do you call it? Um, So we just signed Romeo Aquara, three years, $39 million. I'm happy for it, man. To be honest, we saved money. by Instead of franchise tagging him, we saved $3 million and some change. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. That's really good. I'm loving that decision. Um, This man... <laughs> This makes me feel like I can I can rest a little bit easier for the simple fact that we are not just completely getting rid of all of our players. We actually are putting the time and effort into doing something that matters, into building a defense. And I feel like Romeo, he was getting to that. You know what I'm saying? Even granted, he was doing good in the first half of the, in, in the first. I mean, he was doing okay. You know what I'm saying? In the first, however many weeks, the first one week one through twelve. Week 1 through 11, I mean, and then weeks 12 through 17, he was a monster. So he may he may have turned that corner, but we were we we're definitely going to see. And especially under um, under MCDC, we're going to see what happens. Um, and I finally found that name, TJ Vosher. We need to draft TJ Vosher. He looks like he can be he can look like he can be something. Um, great size, great hands, you know, great athletic ability, spectacular catch out of Texas Tech. I need, we need to draft him. <laughs> we need to draft TJ Vosher, man. I, I can really see something with that kid. Um, another thing that I thought was interesting, I was, um, there, you know how more reports come out about mock drafts and whatnot. And I saw, well, what was our first three rounds? Let's say we were getting Jamar Chase, first round. Second round, we were getting... Dang, I forgot who it was already. It was a, it was a young man from... Um, linebacker from Missouri, from Mizzou. He was undersized. He's an undersized uh, linebacker, but he has great production, putting up 200 uh, tackles for that defense at linebacker. Um... And then what was it, Patrick Patrick uh, Patrick Certain Jr. from uh, defensive end from Pitt. So most, just about most of the drafts I've been looking at has been showing defense in the middle rounds and offense in that first round. Draft Trey Lance, <laughs> just do us a favor and draft Trey Lance, man. Hey, MCDC, Brad Brad Holmes, I'm looking at y'all, man. Draft draft Trey Lance, please, for the love of God, please. If we can't get Trey Lance, draft Micah Parsons. If we can't get Micah Parsons, draft Jamar Chase. Hey, just one of those three. Jamar, I mean, Jamar Chase, Micah Parsons, Trey Lance, especially Trey Lance. Please draft Trey Lance. <laughs> we need Trey Lance. Um, Kenny Galladay, still going to hit the open market. Um, I, I just wonder, I just really wonder where he's going to end up. Most, most people say he's going to end up with Jacksonville. Seems very ugly to me, especially since they don't even really have a good. I mean, Gardner Minshew is cool, but nah, man, he's he what he's not Stafford. You know what I'm saying? And granted, he can go and get the ball, but if if I'm Kenny, I want to go to a team to where you know what I'm saying. I know I'm gonna get the ball. I know I'm gonna play with a with a good quarterback that can do right by me. You know, a good team with you know who knows what they got going on. So. That, that's just that's just me, man. Um, yeah, it's 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 been it's been real it's been real funny for uh the Detroit Lions past few days, but we're just gonna see what more what more comes out. And until then, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace out.